Police in Melrose are looking for the man suspected of breaking into a home on Vinton Street and attacking two women there. Those victims are perhaps the suspect's very own mother and sister. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. Thanks for joining us. WBC's David Robichaud has been talking to neighbors, and he joins us now live from Melrose with the latest. Roby. Katie, there's an all-points bulletin out for the 54-year-old Melrose man who police say is armed and dangerous after a violent attack against two female family members, a sister in her 50s and his mother, who's in her 70s. The Melrose police chief has a message for John Ferreira. Turn yourself in. There's nothing more than that. That's all day long. Turn yourself in. A local law enforcement will come get you. Police believe Ferreira severely beat two women at 99 Vinton Street on Friday night. They got a 911 call and found one woman walking down the sidewalk bleeding. They discovered another woman inside the house. When officers got into there, she was in a chair with uh, some type of wire ties around her ankles to the chair. Police say the women who neighbors say are the suspect's mother and sister, told them Ferreira had attacked them with a rubber hammer. He actually was waiting for one of the victims to come home, come home encountered her. That's where he tied her up with wire ties and duct tape. Uh, the other party saw what was going on, tried to intervene. She was uh, hit with a hammer as well. The chief told us Ferreira stole one victim's car, cell phone, and ATM before fleeing. He's now considered armed and dangerous. No, we're not saying a firearm. He could be using a, a hammer, a saw. He is a carpenter, a quasi-carpenter. Most neighbors would not speak to us on camera, but Devin Harrigan saw the commotion Friday night. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. I mean, stuff like that doesn't usually happen around here, so that's, that's crazy. I hope they find him. The chief says Ferreira got away in a car that he stole from a family member. They're looking for a red Toyota Corolla, mass license plate 546XL1. Now, even though he has no criminal history, police say he is to be considered very dangerous. Do not approach if you, you see him. Call 911. The chief told us that the women's injuries include severe facial injuries and welts and bruises to their arms and legs. He tell us that they're both in stable condition in a Boston area hospital. That's a live, uh, live latest from Melrose. I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News.